Good morning mga kamatatag We are now on our week number 2 and lesson 2 para sa mga grade 7 So ang lesson natin ngayon na pag-aaralan ay Venn Diagram and Operations on Sets Itong lesson na to ay para sa mga grade 7 and pangalawang linggo sa first quarter So, Venn diagram for set relations. We have A or element of A. So, we have X is an element of A here. So, our set here is set A and X is inside the set A. Okay? So, therefore, we can include that X is an element of A. Other one, we have set A and X is outside the set A. Therefore, X is not a set or is not an element of A. You know the illustration? So, set A and set B. And we can observe that A or B is equal to A. So, B is a subset of A and A is a subset of B. As we have discussed in our previous video on the definition of subset. Next, we have set A and set B. So, B is a subset of A. So, B is a proper subset of A because there is an element of B that is not in A. Okay? So, merong mga element on kay B here na hindi natin may kita kay A. But all the elements of A can be found in B. Okay? Next, we have set A and set B. Another one we have another set A and set B. So neither A nor B is a subset of the other because in this illustration this is an example, an example of disjoint sets. So here not all the elements of A are elements of B. So neither A nor B is a subset of the other. So let's discuss about the relationships between sets. So first, we have the disjoint sets. Meron ako na mention kanina about disjoint. So, set A with an element of 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on and so forth. So, we have O, we have 1, 3, 5, 7. We can say that if this is our set O and this is our set A, with their corresponding elements and the set of odd numbers and the set of even numbers are disjoint sets because 
they don't have common elements so walang common sa nila so they do not have any element in common number two we have the joint sets so set a is equal to two four six eight and so on set b we have three six nine and twelve and so on so by illustration we have set a and set b element of a is two four eight so the intersection here okay is the common element all right and we have set b here so the set of multiples of 2 and the set of multiples of 3 is the joint sets because they have some common element okay so yun yung mga common sa kanila yun nasa gitna ito so joint sets number 3 we have subset so a is equal to 2 4 6 8 and so on B, we have 4, 8, 12. So, by illustration, we have the universal set. We have set C. That's set B. We have 4, 8, 12. Yung set C na to ay B ito. Okay? And set A here. So, A, we have 2, 6, and 10. So, the set of multiple of 4 is subset of multiple of 2. Okay, because all the elements of B is also an element of A. So, subset as we have discussed in our previous video. So, there are basic set operations that we're going to discuss in this video. So, example, we have set X and set Y. So, here, if x is 5, a, b, d, and y is 1, a, 5, 7, 10, then the union of x and y can be shown as x union y. This is a symbol. Union y equals 1, a, 5, 7, 8, d, 10. So, ano yung observe nyo? So, we can observe here that we combine all the elements of x and y. Okay, so that is the union of sets. The union of two sets A and B or X and Y is the set of consisting of all the elements which belong to either A or B. So we write it as A union B, the symbol and read as A union B. So here, X and Y, we have 1, A, 5, B, 7, 8, B, 10. So combination of all the elements of the two given sets okay union sets example so let's watch I do, this is an example of a union of two sets. We have set A and set B. So the operation that I'm going to show you using the wind diagram is A union B. So we're going to draw two circles. So when we say union, uh, we're going to uh, combine all the elements of A and B. So the union of two sets is if this is A, this is B, the union is the combination of all the sets of A and B. nakita ko kanina is yung 
illustration ng Union of Sets using the Venn Diagram uh, this time nakita ko naman sa inyo yung Union of Two Sets pa din uh, gamit yung mathematical representation so here we have A Union B so again when we say Union of Two Sets it is a combination of all the elements in a set so therefore we're going to combine all the elements of B and A so A union B is the combination of all the elements of A and B so we have elements A here and we have A here so the goal we're going to write that as one element only then let's combine all the terms so B C 1 3 4 and 5 so this is now the union of A and B given the following elements of each set I got brides in Atlanta, Six of the lean in the family, credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van, legacies. Right, so that's an example of the union of two sets. So another basic set operation is this one. So we have not A. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and let B or set B is 10, 40, 70, 100, 130 then what is the symbol this one? this is what we call an intersection so A intersection B is 10 and 40 so bakit yun yung kanyang intersection? so 20 that's for set A and this one for set B so that's the intersection of the two sets. So by definition, the intersection of two sets A and B is the set of elements common. Okay, so the word is common to both A and B. We write it as A and the symbol for union or for intersection rather, read as A intersection B. Okay? So Again, pag union, combination of all, pag intersection, yung common elements. Right? So, for another example, let us watch the video. I got brides in Atlanta, she's the lean in the family, credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the band, legacy. Alright, so good day again. So this time I'm gonna show you the illustration of one of the basic set operations, which is intersection of two sets. In my pre previous video, uh, I have shown you how to illustrate the union of two sets. So this time, what I'm going to show you is the illustration of the intersection. Of two sets so when we say intersection of two sets the intersection of two sets for example a and B is the set of elements common okay 
So, take note of the word common to both A and B. So, common to both A and B. We are going to use this example. So, using the Venn diagram, the basic illustration of two sets, the intersection of two sets is this one. Okay? So, in my previous video, um, the intersection or the union is to remove this one. Okay? This part. So, this is now the union of two sets. But when we say intersection of two sets, we will share this one because this is the intersection of set A and B. So we'll take this element only or elements. Okay? That is the representation of the intersection of two sets. So using the example above, this one. So um, let's find what element or elements is common to both A and B, okay? So, with this example, we can say that A is the common element of set A and B. So, using the Venn diagram, I'm going to write A here because A is common to set A and set B, okay? So, set A, we have B, 3, C, set B, I have 1, 4, 5, and A. So, this is the common or the intersection of two sets. Okay? So, writing mathematically, the illustration of the intersection of two sets. So, kanina ang ginamit natin is A, union B. The symbol for union. So, when we talk about intersection, we will use the symbol of the union of two sets. Or the intersection of two sets, rather. So, A intersection B is A. Because A is the only element that is common to both A and B. Okay? So, ulitin natin. Kapag ka union... It is a combination of all the elements of A and B. When we say intersection, okay, so we'll, when we say intersection, nahanapin lang natin which element or elements are common to both A and B. So, yun yung pinagkaiba ng intersection and union. In our next video, I will, I will show you the uh, illustration and mathematical representation of the complement of the set. So watch out. So, there's an example of intersection of two sets. Next, we're going to proceed to another basic set operation. We have the complement of a set. So, the complement of set A is the set of all elements in the universal set, which are not elements of set A. So, it is denoted by that symbol, yung A prime or yung exponent na C. So, read as complement of set A. So, by illustration, that's our universal set. And this is set Y. So, let U is A, B, C, D, E. And let Y is A, B. Okay? So, what are the elements that can be found in the universal set that are not in the set Y? So, that is C, D, and E. So, that's set the element of y and is a element of universal set so y prime is shaded that's the complement of set y 
So, to give us more example, let's watch. Alright, so this time I'm going to illustrate one of the basic uh, set operations which is the complement of a set. Okay, so according to the definition of a complement of a set, it is the set of all elements in the universal set which are not elements of the given set. So, let's illustrate if th this is the universal set. And I have set A here, for example, and set A as an element 1, 3, 5. Universal set, I have 2, 4, 6. Okay, take note that the set A is inside the universal set. So it means that 1, 3, 5 is also an element of the universal set. Okay? So, finding the complement of the given set. So, A prime, this is how we write complement of a set. Or A subscript complement is the set of all elements in the universal set which are not in the given set. So, sa madaling sabi, ano yung mga elements doon sa loob ng universal set na wala sa loob ng binigay na set. So, dito, yung 1, 3, 5 na sa loob ng set. Yung 2, 4, and 6, yun yung wala sa loob ng binigay na set. So, therefore, A prime is 2, 4, and 6. Kasi sila yung elements na hindi natin makikita doon sa loob ng binigay na set. Yeah. So that is the complement of the given set. Example of uh, the complement of a set. The next set operations that we're going to discuss is the difference of two sets. So, by definition, the difference of sets A and B, denoted by A minus B or A over B, is the set of elements which belongs to A but which not or does not belong to B. Okay? So, by illustration, para mas makita natin. So, what's our X? 1, 4, 5. So, our Y? 2, 7. So, this is the given. Set X, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
set B is 2, 3, 6, 7. Then X minus Y is 1, 4, 5. Because that is the elements that belongs to X but not in Y. Okay? So, parang kinansel natin yung common sa kanila. Tapos yung may iwan dun sa unang set. Yun yung ating difference of a set. Okay? So, para mas maintindihan pa natin. So, panoorin natin ito. the basic uh, set operations is the difference of a set. Definition the difference of a set, for example A and B, is denoted by A minus B. That is the difference of the set. It's the set of all elements which belongs to A but not belong to B. So, for example, set A Is one, three, five, seven, and B is three, five. So A minus B is the set of all elements that belongs to A but not in B. Okay, so ano yung element na na kay A na wala kay B? So one and 7. So therefore, I have 1 and 7 here. Okay? So, pagmaminus lang natin. <clears throat> so, that's an example of difference of a set. So, I'll give you another example. Set X Is two, four, six, eight, ten. Set Y is three, six, nine, and ten. Okay, so X minus Y is the set of all elements of X which are not in Y. So, ano yung element ni X na hindi natin makikita kay Y? Yan ay 2, 4, and 8. Si 6 nandito, si 10 nandun. So, I have 2, 4, and 8. So, yan yung definition ng o illustration ng difference of a set. Okay? of Venn diagram in a word problem. So, this is an application again of Venn diagram in solving problems. So, 
to give an example so if a problem gives the information yung n is the cardinality so n intersection b is 5 the cardinality of a is 12 the cardinality of b is 18 and the cardinality of the universal set is 31 we could use the Venn diagram to help visualize the problem so note the symbol cardinality of A intersection B is with as the cardinality of A union B is 5 or that is intersection so that's 5 that's the intersection okay so the word here is intersection okay so and it's of A intersection B is 5 then we have set A the cardinality is 12 so 7 bakit 7 na lang because we have 7 plus 5 is 12 the cardinality of B is 18 so what we need is and 13 because 13 plus 5 is 18 okay And the universal set is 6. Bakit 6 na lang? Kasi when we add all these numbers, when we add all these numbers, we'll get 31. Okay? So 7 plus 5 plus 13 plus 6 equals 31. So that's how we visualize problems involving Venn diagrams. And to give us more example, so 50 nurses working for a particular nursing agency were asked if they had worked in a private or public hospitals in the past two years. There were 11 who said they had worked in neither while 17 said they had worked in both. If 27 had worked in private hospitals, how many nurses had worked in private but not in public hospitals? How many had worked in public but not in private? Hospitals. We are going to solve that using the Venn diagram to visualize the problems. So universal set natin, and these are private, and we have public. Okay, so there were 11 who said they had worked in either. So hindi sila nagtrabaho sa private and sa public. So doon sila sa labas. Okay, sa so universal set. While 17 said they had worked in both, so that's the intersection, 17. And if 27 had worked in private hospitals, so that's 10 plus 17 is 27. So we're going to find this portion, okay? Ilan yung nagtrabaho sa public hospitals. Okay, so that's 51, which is the... Uh, or the 50 nurses that's 50 okay that's 50 nurses working in a particular hospital sorry this 50 this one okay so the correction that is 50 okay so that's 50 minus 10 plus 17 plus 11 is equal to 12 so therefore that is 12 okay so again correction this is 50 not 51 right That's the right on this example. We're going to solve a word problem and we're going to use the Venn diagram to solve the problem given, right? So, our problem is a class advisor surveys 35 students and the kind of pets they have at the home. He found out that 15 students have dogs, 12 have cats, and 8 have birds. Five have dogs and cats, four have dogs and birds, and three have cats and birds. If no one has all three kinds of pets, then how many students have none of this? So we're going to write first our given. 15 students have dogs, 12 have cats, and 8 have birds. And we have the intersection of sets, so five students have dog and cats and four have dogs and birds we have three students have cats and birds at home 
and zero have cats, birds, and dogs at the same time. So we're going to draw an illustration of that problem. So the box is our universal set, which is the 35 students. And we're going to use circles, so we have three sets here, the dog, bird, and cat. So the first circle we're going to represent is the dogs, second one is the cats, and the third one is the birds, right? So here, cats, intersection, birds, and dogs is zero. So this is the intersection of three circles. So the given is zero order. New students have bird, cat, and dog at the same time at home. Next, we're going to um, write or put in a circle the intersection of dog, uh, intersection of dog and cats here. So, dog and cats is the this is the intersection which is five. So we're going to write that as five. Next one is the intersection of uh, dogs and birds, which is 4. So I'm going to write here 4. The next one is the intersection of cats and birds here, which is 3. So I'm going to write 3. Right? And we're going back to the given. So dogs have 15, or 15 students have dogs. So we have 6 here. Why 6? Because we have 15 students have dogs, so we have 6 plus 4, which is 10, plus 5 is 15, so I have 15 here, okay? For cats, I have 12 here, so I'm going to write here 4, that's 5, plus 3 is 8, plus 4 is 12. And for birds, I have 8, so that's 4 plus 3 is 7, so I have only one for birds, right? So that's how we get six. We have four and one. Okay. So we have 35 students minus all the students. So six plus four plus five plus four plus three and one. So that's 35 minus 23. And we have 12 students have none of these pets. So those 12 students are outside these three sets. So Nandi to suggest a universal set. Okay? So that's an example of a Venn diagram in solving word problem involving sets.